Are you scared to cut broccoli? Well, just remember that broccoli is more afraid of you than you are of broccoli. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to cut broccoli. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, my name is Dennis, and over the past 10 years, I've spent thousands of hours researching nutrition and applying it to my from scratch cooking. Broccoli is made up of two parts, the tough stem and the tender flowerets. If the broccoli hadn't been harvested, these would eventually turn into flowers, hence flowerets. The process for cutting broccoli is pretty easy, but it's not necessarily straightforward. So the first step is gonna to be to cut off most of this stem. We're gonna go up to the broccoli flowerets and then just slice down. A lot of back and forth motion because we don't want to break the broccoli flowerets all the way through. We're going to set the stem aside and we're going to break the broccoli apart wherever we're able. So some of these pieces already came loose and the rest, they're all still attached by the center. So we're going to do the exact same thing we just did and cut just some of that center stem out. A lot of back and forth. And there we go, set this aside. And more broccoli is falling apart. And now we're left with these pieces still held together by the center. So what are we gonna do now? You got it, we're gonna do the exact same thing and slice off that center. That releases more of the broccoli pieces. And these stem pieces, I'm just gonna throw away, right? Wrong! I'm gonna save these pieces for making chicken broth, which I talk about in this video, because broccoli stems make delicious broth. Save these things in a bag in the freezer so that you can make broth with them. Or if you don't feel like making broth with them, Broccoli stems are perfect for making broccoli soup. At this point, it's so small that I'm just gonna slice right down the center, kind of pull it in half. I'm gonna pull out some of these bigger pieces that initially fell off and kind of cut those in half too and keep cutting them until they're to your liking. Notice how I cut these larger pieces just on the stem and then I use my knife to pry it apart. That way we do minimal damage to the delicate flowerets at top and we don't make quite so much of a mess having all these tiny broccoli pieces left on our counter. That only took a couple minutes and you just cut your first head of broccoli. Now, I know some of you saw the buttery smoothness with which this knife cut the broccoli and you were like, oh my gosh, I need that knife. Well, you would be correct in feeling that way because these are honestly the best knives I have ever used. But don't take my word for it. You should listen to my good friend, Advertisement Dennis. Hi. I'm Advertisement Dennis, and I've been using Cutco knives for about four years now, and let me tell you, they're just so nice. My real life actual friend, Cutco Dan, was the one who first introduced them to me, and since he did, I have not bought a single other knife brand. Because while most kitchen knives tend to dull after only a few uses, my Cutco knives can go years between sharpenings and still be really dang sharp. Ouch, I just cut myself looking at it. But if that's not good enough for you, Cutco knives can go through the dishwasher without dulling or rusting. When it comes to professional knives, that's pretty crazy. At this point, you're probably thinking, dishwasher safe and stays sharp. There's no way this gets any better. Well, sorry to disappoint, but it does. Because Cutco knives only cost about half of what other professional knife brands sell at. Which means you can be like me and have your own professional quality chef knife for only $153. And that's not $153 you spend and hope you like it or hope you don't have to replace it. Because of course Cutco has a money back guarantee, but they also have a forever guarantee. Let's say that 20 years from now, you damage this knife. Cutco will send you a new one. Let's say 100 years from now, your great great grandchild breaks this knife. Cutco will send them a new one even without a receipt. So if you're ready to upgrade to a Cutco chef knife, just use the link in the description to go to Cutco Dan's website and purchase the Cutco seven inch Santoku chef knife. Thank you to Cutco for making amazing knives. Thank you to Cutco Dan for making this possible. And thank you to you guys for supporting the show and checking out Cutco Dan's website. Now back to you, regular Dennis. Thanks advertisement, Dennis. Well, if you guys got value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing for kitchen tools, nutritious cooking, and healthy living. That's about it.